Hi people and welcome back to Hafern Paranormal. Tonight we're at a pub in Salford and Manchester, the Crescent Pub. Uh, don't know what's here. We've found it basically, not by mistake, but we've been passing it and found it. We've had a look and we've found a way in. So we're going to go and have a look and see what we can get, if anything. Don't know what they expect from this. I wasn't even looking for this place and we found it. So let's go and we'll have a look and see if there's anything we can get in here. So, just got the bar area here. Uh, it's quite a small pub, although there is, I noticed coming in, there is a cellar. It was quite a small crawl space, really. Uh, <clears throat> that's the bar area. And there is, what have we got in here? We've got another place in here. Is there anybody here? Stay from up window if you can. Is there anybody here? There's a sleeping bag. So just be aware. Any spare people here? That was me in the ground, by the way. There's just the old seats here. I don't know, but just be aware. There's a sleeping bag there, so just be aware. Right. <clears throat> I'm more interested at the minute people make sure there's n there's nobody that's uh, squatting their stuff like that. I've got Explore Modelli with me again, and the mother-in-law and our eldest son as well. So this is the other side of the bar. It's through there where we were a minute ago. Let's just get this straight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a car with mother-in-law on it there. Uh, so we're just, yeah, we're just finding this place by mistake, really. And we just thought we'd have a look at it on the way past, if there was a way in, and there was. Uh, Ellie, no. just to say to you as well, I was saying to them, mm -hmm. in the other bar area there, there's a sleeping bag, so just be aware, in case anybody is in here. We, we do have to, obviously, keep an eye out and make sure that there is no homeless or people like that or anything like that in here. So we've got the toilet area there. It might not be a long video, this one, but like I say, it's just somewhere we'll find. It's just toilets. Uh, yeah, so. Oh, right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Hello? Is there anybody here? There's a staircase there, we'll check out in a minute. And here as well, what's in there? Is a safe there? The floor is very, very uneven here. Very uneven. Just be, be careful and try and squeeze through here. Oh, God. Sorry about that, people. That's the old kitchen area. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. There's an old chip pan with oil in it. The fridge. That's absolutely disgusting. So it's not a big, big kitchen, but a kitchen nonetheless. It does go back in here a bit though. And this looks like it's a little story, but someone seems to have tried to set fire in here. Just a small area here. Try and get a bit of that. Like yeah, it's it's not it's not very big in here to be honest. Uh, but you never know what you what you'll find. I don't know what you'll find at all. It's just worth having a look. Right. Watch there's no nails in any of that wood. Is there anybody here? Hello? Right, let's have a look then, up here. Uh, 
Hello? Hello? Anybody? Anybody here? I don't think there'd be many people up here with a you know, floor like this. You can see here, it damages. There it is. Oh, there's a big corridor down there. We'll go down in a minute. So, in here, we have... There's a window in there. It's just a room with a load of debris in it. Uh, yeah, I would say don't go down there. Why? Because look at the floor. Yeah, well, we can get past that. There's just... There's a window in there, a full-on window. <clears throat> I don't want people to see us, so... Well, I think not being not very safe is neither here nor there. Right, this is just like a Norman window there. I shouldn't really be shining my torch out there. There's a kettle in there and all, but <clears throat> just walk on the joists, you'll be all right. Yeah, let's look at a little. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit uneven here, people, but I'm just trying to walk on the uh, very few floorboards that there actually is. Hello? Anybody here? Oh, there's a bath, toilet. Is there anybody here? I want to keep mentioning the people, but I've got to do it. Oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. So we've got this room here. It's like a little living room, I think. I can see here. Careful! There's a little living room here with a fireplace. Look through here. <laughs> Look at this. So, big windows again though. Do you not feel that like here feels like a different building? This is a weird feeling in here. It really is. And when, I, when I say weird, I can't even explain how weird. It's just a weird feeling. Oh, and that might explain why. This might, this, oh, no. Oh, look at this place. Hello? Anybody here? So, so this. Someone set fire to this because you can see on the ceiling up here. Robin, I don't like it. Right, well, I want to have a look up the stairs. Well, you can look the stairs. I certainly will. Go on. It's, uh, <laughs> it's been, yes? Right. Through here. So what are these stairs going down? Well, that's the stairs. I think that when we first came in, I said to you there was a staircase to the left. I don't know you say that. Right, stay away from the window. Uh. Of course, Diane. Right, gone. So let's just be careful up here because I don't know how safe it is. Oh, there's rooms up here. Right. Well, I've got to. I've got to look at this. I can't come the whole way up here and not, not have a look. So just watch the floor. Seems safe enough. Right. What's that Oh. There's a ladder up there. There's a hole over there, so it wouldn't come into this room too far. Uh, that's the roof, so I'm not even going to make an attempt to go up there. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, no, yeah, I wouldn't just yeah just f go on through there, but just be careful. It's through here, just because of the. This is just all pigeons in here. Yeah, there's pigeons here, so just watch yourselves. See them. Yeah. So again, it's probably been living quarters up here. I would say there's one, two, three pigeons there. Uh, so not much really to report from here. Right. 
So go back down to the bar and I'll maybe do a K2 session before we go. It's not a big pub, people. And there's the basement as well, Ellie. So <clears throat> it's not. Yeah, go down the other stairs if you want, because it'll bring you out the far side of the bar. Or sorry, this side of the bar. And yeah, there could be cobwebs or everything about here, so just be careful. Right. Like I say, this will bring you out where the cellar near where the cellar is. Is there anybody here? Any spirit people here? Come forward. Come speak to us. Baz a pint. But thirsty. What? Baz a pint. That would be funny. Right. As, as if you're heading out towards the. As if you're heading back out to the door. Yeah. Careful. Oh, don't be a. Right, are you going back into the bar? But I'm going to, I'm going basement though. Right, we're we'll just it's, it's quite narrow, people. So this is why I was holding us up a little bit. Yeah. So this, this is basically the door where we came in. You can see here. There's a little crawl space. So we got the basement now. Then we'll come back up, do a K2 session in the uh, bar area, and then that'll be it for this video because it's not a very big pub. It's a little bit ruined and stuff. Uh, right, oh, hold on a second. What's the other way? Because we need to come down under there first. Right, so we've got a little area here. Is there anybody here? There's just a load of glasses here. No, there's no doorway here, there's only a boiler. I expected there to be a doorway. So did I, but there's not. So this, yeah, it's just beer mats on there. That's just would have been like a, like a beer store. Oh God. Yeah, I am not gonna try anything from there. I think I'll give this pub, I was quite hungry, but I'll give this pub a miss, food-wise. Loads of glasses here, though. Pint glasses Brand still there. Ones. Yeah. I'm you're not nice ones. I'm still in Beer and Moretti. Beer and Moretti ones. That's always speckled hen. I like Beer and Moretti. I'm surprised you're not nicking them. Well, there's one there. That should be one. Yeah. Nice little goblet glass there. Beer and Moretti one. But there's some uh, beer mats on the floor. Is that what they are? Yeah. Like yeah, there's more over there on the side. Oh, yeah. Was did, did someone make a. Oh. Right, there was a definite noise I got. What was down here? Um, a keg there. This, has been, this is where, where all the pumps have been, all the equipment's still there. All this equipment as well, all the coolers and stuff. But this, is, this has been empty a while. This is where the, uh... Yeah, the no, I could well believe it though, because, oh, what's in there? Yeah. Right, this is where they would have, yeah, they would have, them big things in there, the two barrels, that they used to clean the lines with, so. Yeah, they'd have come in up there, from them, down that thing there. What's in here? Hello? Anybody here? Hello? This place just keeps going on and on. I don't know what's up in there. Can't get in there really. And there's more more stuff stored in here. The old wine bottles and stuff. All stored. Oh god, there's another room in there. Right, let's see if I can get through. What? This place just goes on and on. Hello? Look 
at this. Is there anybody here? Come forward. This is like underground tunnels. Uh, yeah, no, no, I tell you what. I'd upset the light there. No, I tell you. This place here really puts me in mind of like back in the day, like smugglers, you know what I mean? Or if, if people were like stealing stuff and then storing it. There's another hole in the wall over there. Hello? Look at that. Right, get this out of the way first. It smells. Right, so. You know, it smells like a garage. Look, look, look at this over here. Come on, look, Kyle. There's another hole in the wall there, but it's all cobwebs hanging down. Yeah. You've got to throw some off all the cobwebs down. Yeah, but it's only pipes over there. It's only pipe work. You can see it. Yeah. So there'll be nothing in there. Agreed. It's just... So it's not been a long video, people, really. Well, so far. But it's... It's just phenomenal that upstairs is a certain, it's a certain size. And then when you come down here, it just seems to go on and on. You, you feel in here, do you not feel in here like you've, you've come out of that building you're somewhere else? Yeah, I, I feel like, I feel like I'm, 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 I'm heading somewhere. Yeah, like, like you say, like underground tunnels, like I'm heading somewhere else to, to come up completely a different place. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, but I, t I tell you something. It, it's it's really really weird here. If I just keep my torch, or my camera there for a second, people. Is there anybody there? Can you come forward through that gap? Keep an eye out, people, and leave a comment below if you can see anything that I'm not seeing. But I'm literally. A little bit in awe of this place because it's <clears throat> it's quite phenomenal how it keeps going and going and going and all of a sudden you just feel that you're not in a pub anymore that you're just somewhere completely different right and then I mean look at that it's like you're just somewhere completely and utterly different to to where you actually were and then when you come through here you're back into like the see that, now do any, do any of you not feel this before you say that keep it in mind what you're going to say but do any of you not feel that if you look at this you can see this board's been up right yeah. where, where these where these locks are here have been up on here yeah. right do you not feel now that you've come back through that gap you're back in the, you're pub. Back in the pub again yeah, yeah and if you go back feel, I feel like if you went in there and you went up but, I reckon you'd come out in a garage or something. Yeah, you, you probably would. But the thing is, there's booze in there. Yeah, I know, and I don't get it. It's, it's strange. What does that black thing look like on the floor? What black thing on the floor? Stick up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, <clears throat> it's not a butt plug, Kyle. I know you. I know you were you were curious to what butt plugs are, but that's not one. Right, Explorer Matelli wants a butt plug, and that's no, not it. Don't. So don't tell people that. So you know. And I know she's she's that way inclined normally, but that's not what it is, Ellie. You know, what what do you get up to in your private uh, time? I'm just going to go in here for a second, actually, because this is literally where all the uh, and it still stinks of steel beer in here. There's all your pumps on the wall. There. You got Heineken, Amstel, Moretti. And then you, you obviously would have had these, and then if if they had Black cat, dog. <coughs> urban myth, and then your keg cleaning. This is what these are for. I was telling you about people. These is what they use to run through the lines to clean the lines out once a week. So if they'd have had Guinness, I'm assuming the Guinness would have been down here somewhere because it's normally away from the rest of them. Up there, it, I don't know what it is actually. I'll have a look, but it, oh, it is not. There's only a little room, mind you, but 
Or is it a little room? It's just, what the hell's through here? More pumps. What? Bloody hell. So, that's more beers and stuff. Dark fruit. There's your, yeah, there's your Guinness one there. You can you can tell it's away normally away from the rest of them, and obviously you have your uh, your cask beers here, but you got you got your dark fruits, your Fosters, oh. and then you got your Guinness one there as well. <clears throat> so that would have been all all the ones in there are probably all your sort of your your local lager or your uh, your sort of run of the mill bog standard lager. This would have been all your like. No, I was I was thinking that when I was upstairs. I, I don't. If, if anything, I would say there's a there's a there's a female entity that that roams this pub. You know, I was, she. There's still stuff in there. Must line cleaner in them. It's got line cleaner in them. It's. There's a, there's a a female entity that I didn't mention upstairs for the simple reason was I was trying to pick up more information of her. That's why I'm going to do. I said about doing the K two up there just to see. But you got distracted by pumps. <clears throat> what? You got distracted by pumps. Well, no, because it this place distracted me from that because it just seems to go on and on. Mm. There, there always seems to be another corridor, another room, and it's just. It's just phenomenal, really. But it's like... I can't even explain it. it, it this, this this female... I, I would say that she... She worked in here, but she didn't run the pub. She didn't live here. Did she... Yeah, but she's a bit... I'm getting confused now. So it, it's, let me just try and pick up a little bit more. She would have come down here to change the, 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 the kegs and stuff, which is normal, and to check on the deliveries coming in. Did you top, hear that? Top. That was a definite noise from that corner. Hello? We're not we're not here to harm you. We're here to investigate this place and yeah, we, we, we just want to let me see if we can move this a little bit, people, because I'm getting hopefully that's better now. I keep getting my tripod caught in the in the corner of this. We're just here to document this place. I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, basically, if you're here to document, go upstairs. Go upstairs. If you, if you hear, if you want to get anything, go upstairs. That's what I'm getting. Are you going to come upstairs and make contact? Can you follow us upstairs and make contact, please? Thank you. Let's go and have a look then. Don't know why I'm getting that. I'm just getting go upstairs, go upstairs. So, well, don't argue with females. Let's go. yeah, yeah. No, you don't. You don't argue with females. I know that part of it. I wasn't. I wasn't being derogatory when I was in here before. If it's yourself, but I don't really fancy anything from the fridge. Not today. Maybe another time. So. Who's got lead? Who's got lead feet? What? Who's got lead feet? <laughs> right. So, we're just going back into the bar area, people, and then we'll be <clears throat> heading out of here. So let's have a quick look.
Where'd you leave your case? My case, I didn't bring it this time, I just brought my K2 in the pocket. Oh. Right, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave, I'm going to put this tripod on here. Right? <clears throat> now. Let's see, I've got a squeaky pig here. No, it's not. Well, it was, but it's not now. So, If I put that here, I'm going to come away from it. Oh, that's kind of long for us with help, wouldn't it? Does help. Right. So, I'm just going to come back from the camera. Explore my daddy's going to stay right there. And I've got this on. I'm going to turn this light off for a minute because... So, we're all behind camera. Right, if there's anybody here, the green light on the bar, can you please make it go to an amber or a red? Come forward and make the light change colour. Come on, if you're the female I picked up on that was downstairs telling me to come upstairs, can you please come forward and go towards that light source and make it change colour? Yep, a little bit more. Come on, please. Can you come towards the light and can you change colour? Light colour. Did you used to work here? If you used to work here, can you please change the colour of the light? Nothing at all. I keep getting the feeling from behind me, from that yeah. doorway. Mm -hmm. I keep getting, over. yeah, I keep getting the feeling that someone's going to come through there. But why don't you put it over that way? Right. Let's just have a, a quick look here. I'll change the uh, positioning of this, and then I will. I'll turn it round towards this way, towards this doorway, because that's where I'm getting the feeling of someone coming through. Right. Little pig again. Little pig. Right. So. Right. So now that I've put that K two there, I'm going to again turn this off. So, can you come forward if you're going to come through that far door? Come forward and turn this light from green to either amber or red. Come on. Come forward, please, and change the colour of this light. Is there anybody here? There's a female entity about here. I know you're here somewhere. Can you come to this bar and go to that green light and change the colour? Absolutely nothing. Are you in the building at all? Can you at least let us know if you're in the building? Turn my light back on again, if I can find a button, there we are. <clears throat> Nothing at all. But also, just because he didn't do it on there, doesn't mean that... No, it doesn't mean you're going to do it every time, I know, I know what you're saying, but... But also doesn't mean that that didn't, <clears throat> pick, that didn't pick it up. No, there, there's, definitely, there's definitely something about here, or someone about here. But we, we basically, we've been around the whole building, it's not big people. Uh, and, and we've done it now. So what about the other bar? The other bar in there? Mm. I don't know. I, I can't, it, was, it was more in here. Yeah, it, it was. It was really. It was strong in here when we first came in. Yeah. And it's to do with this doorway. Now I know obviously there's a door here, which may have was really been the front door of the pub. People coming in and out. It'd have been the main so, door, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. 
So they would have come in this door, they'd have had this window to look through, obviously to see the bar, who was in here and stuff, yeah. and then they would have come in here. So, I don't know. I, I don't get the feeling that there's, if there was anything here, it's, it doesn't seem to be at the minute. I mean, this, this letter here for the pub is dated 2019. It's it's the, when went through there, yeah. Yeah, it's a February. But that's just a letter that's come after, isn't it? Yeah. Right, people, I think we're going to end the video here because we've been around the whole building and it's it's been more of an explore, really. It's been, it's been decent. It's been good to do. And I'm glad I've done it because I can always say I've done it. I haven't picked up on any parallel... There was a couple of bangs downstairs we heard. It's quite eerie. Though. Yeah, it's quite eerie in here. There was a couple of bangs downstairs that we all heard. Hopefully we caught them on camera. Uh, and there was that female entity it was picking up on, but it's went very, very quiet now. Different very still. You, go, though. you feel like you're in a different era. Yeah, you do. And, and, and downstairs especially, you know, for anybody who's exploring or doing paranormal activity, if you do get a chance to come here, it, it just goes, when you go downstairs, it goes on and on and on this place. And you go through a wall and you're in somewhere completely different, even different period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I say, I hope you've enjoyed the video and we hope to see you uh, watching the next video that will be on very, very soon because we've got loads of locations to do and there'll be a Yorkshire road trip coming again soon. But for now, from Huffington Paranormal, it's goodbye. <laughs>